So this is Big Mud or Small Blade at a dirt track. Whoa, that's weird, right? Yeah, we're here in Charlotte. We're on the wrong side of the road. Um, we're here at the Woo Finals. I don't really know what I'm doing at all. So we're going to have fun. All right, bye. Woo! Woo! Get it, because Woo, World of Outlaws. Woo, Woo, buddy, Polly. Oh, oh, fuck off. Oh, yeah, I have a lawn chair now, so I got a cup holder within my chair. No, oh, this is so cool. I got a lawn chair, cup holder. Yeah. Anyway. This is the Big Motor Small Blade Podcast doing the World of Outlaws World Final. So, Charlotte. technically, this is the Big Motor Big Wings Podcast at the moment. Yes, <laughs> I'm down. Yeah, I'm going right. to make that the title up here. Big Motor Big Wing Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 900 hearse purrs and no weight. Let's go, boy. <laughs> 9 hour hearse purrs. That's you, Happy. You got hearse purrs. Hearse purrs. Hearse um, purrs. So, yeah. We're uh, just going to talk about that weekend. And it was somebody here. Our journey through that. Our journey through that cold-ass fucking weekend. God, um, winter is fucking coming, dude. And it's all over our face. <laughs> all right it was uh it was somebody's first dirt experience ever other than the Bristol yeah. dirt race how's it feel how's it feel Seth? your virginity dirt racing is uh cherry pop what we're talking about you oh. dumbass oh really <laughs> oh my god i cannot believe i got that fucked up <laughs> Anyway. anyway, dumbass over here. It was his first yeah, sundress and dumbass. I'm sundress. <laughs> he's dumbass. <laughs> and together, this is a big motor, small, big wing podcast. Yep. Anyway, yeah. I mean, dumbass. Look at this fucking wing on this goddamn thing. Look at this fucking wing. That big ass wing. Big ass wing. Yeah, big wing. Hold up, hold on. I got a weight model in over here somewhere. Hold on. Oh, God bless. This is turning out just fantastically, isn't it? Shit. All right. I'll have my weight model over here. I have a 164 of Kevin Arvick's Prelude to the Dream dirt weight model. And I thought it was over there, and it's not. So that's kind of sad. <laughs> I should have grabbed, anyway. uh, grabbed my Kyle Larson uh, weight model. Oh, well. Yeah, you should have. Yeah. They made a Harvick Dirt Modified. I need to get that. Whoa. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> moving, moving on to actual interesting podcasts. My Kenny Schrader koozie. This thing's cool as shit. All right. Go ahead. I um, <laughs> so, yes, it was the World Finals. We had the Super Dirt Car Series. We had the. He's even got his age on. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Poor Kenny. Pour one out. Hello, Kenny Schrader. Pour one man. out from my boy Kenny. Um, yeah, shit. Damn, it's not with that one, water, buddy. So. With that one, buddy. Oh my God, you killed Kenny, you bastard. All right. Anyway, go I ahead. I had to do that. Anyway, so obviously it was the world of world finals. We got the world Super of Dirt. world finals. <laughs> Motherfucker, are you high right now. Anyway, no, I'm not. That was a bad day at joke. work, so <laughs> went yeah. all out. Fair enough. We had the dirt cars, we had the late models, and we had They're the all dirt cars. cars. <laughs> Super dirt car, big block modified. <laughs> I hate you. We had this <laughs> for the ninth fucking time. We had the Super Dirt Car Big Block Modifieds, the Morton Buildings late models. And the NOS Energy Drink Sprint Cars. <laughs> Buddy is having a fucking whale of a time already. It's great. It's the best Damn. podcast we've ever done. I don't know nothing about what I'm fucking talking about. <laughs> At all. It That's the shows. problem. That's the problem with the other podcasts. I don't have enough fun because I know what I'm talking about. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing here. I I kind I well, yeah, I kind of know what I'm talking about. I got about. two dirt cars over here. Look, I got Sheldon Creed. Fucking Eldora truck right here. Uh, see, or not said, Sheldon Creed. Stuart Freeze. Jesus Christ! What? The I didn't fuck? even. I didn't even catch that. <laughs> yeah, God. You're like Sheldon Creed. I see a '52 truck. I'm like, yep, yeah, adds up. 
also got Tony Stewart's. Anyway, all right. Yeah, stuff. We were at a thing. Yes. I got this anyway, cool Casey Kane shirt. I got this cool Casey Kane hat. I didn't give a fuck about Casey Kane when he was in NASCAR, but I was like, ooh, no, I know him. Neither of us were Casey Kane fans in NASCAR, and then we get to the fucking World of Outlaws World Final. I pulled like, for him in the Coca-Cola 600 to beat Jimmy Johnson in 06, because that's all who had seen win is Jimmy Johnson. I was sick and tired of it. Well, yeah, everybody. I would kill to see Jimmy win there. All right, never mind. <laughs> Go ahead. God damn, I hate you. But yeah, we get to the World Finals, and we're both like, I'll buy Casey Kane gear if you do. <laughs> no, it was me. I, I wanted this shirt, and I was like, it's just like, I like that hat. And I was like, well, if I buy the shirt, you got to buy the hat. And that was what happened. That was what happened. And I got the hat. And I like it. It's a nice hat. I did the old twist the arm thing. I'm still pissed off I didn't get a fucking Jack Shield shirt. Yeah. I mean, they've got them online. You can get one if you want, but. Yeah, I probably will. I wish they had something of the car he was actually driving there that day, though, since it was the last freaking race, you know? I wanted a 22 shell or 22 pins oil shirt and not hate it. So, yeah, they, that for what it's worth, they are very nice uh, shirts and it was a very nice car. Yeah, it's um, very good material. Um, anyway, go all ahead. All right. Anyway, moving on to the actual content of the weekend. Um, my favorite thing to scream at David Land when he's taking random photos. Um, yeah. Content! Um, oh, that was my Robbie voice. <laughs> well, let's throw it to Noonan Thoughts. God damn it, why is all this fucking dust in the air? Pissing me off! <laughs> Noonan Thoughts. <laughs> God. Fucking talk, go. <laughs> um, we're not too... We're not... Very well versed in super dirt car. Big I don't know fucking thing. I don't know goddamn thing. This is just terrible. Um, <laughs> Alex Yankowski won the feature on Friday. Holy shit! Alex Nedeljkovic won the damn feature. Good on him, man. The only thing he's winning this year being in Detroit. Um, sure. that? That was that dude's first win. He was like twelve or something, fifteen, sixteen, some seventeen, sixteen. A little bit older than Ty Gibbs then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, Brett Hearn won the night, uh, night two. They, what did they say? That was like his seven thousandth win or some shit. Some, yeah, like <laughs> something ridiculous. about, yeah, like he's got more wins than damn Denny Hamlin's raced ever. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's saying something, man. That motherfucker might have actually run 10,000 races. Yeah, he was about old enough to, too. Shit, yeah, yeah. Well, fucker, yeah, make a koozie of him. It's going to be like 107 or something like that. 107. Yeah, how many years he's raced, not how old he is. Yeah, pretty, yeah, right. Anyway, anyway. moving on to the um, late models. Jonathan Davenport swept. Superman. Um, Superman. Superman. I wasn't. No, that no, he's not Superman. The damn dude, Matt. Matt, um, Matt Shepard. Yeah, Matt Shepard. Matt Shepard or Brandon Shepard? No, it was Matt. It was Matt, late okay. model. Yeah, or the no. Let's say I wrote that down backwards because you told me, fucker. Yeah, no, no. Matt Shepard won the um, super dirt card. He's Superman. Yeah, and then he's the, got the damn yeah. logo and everything with it. And then the rocket ship. Yep, is Brandon yep. Shepard. So yeah. I'm learning. Look at me. Holy shit, man! Doing the thing. You do so good. I do it. I do it so good, man. Anyway, so yeah. Jonathan Davenport swept the features uh, for the yes. late models. The motherfucker's rolling. He was he, he cruised. Rolling. He cruised to it the second night, but damn that first night, man, he was he had he was grinding. He yeah. was grinding. It's hard to pass in them motherfuckers. It looks like. Yeah, well, it looks hard to pass the, the dirt track in Charlotte anyway, to an extent. Just yeah, like, good lord! I was like, I was sitting there. I was like, man, that looks like that shit looks hard. Yeah. No, it absolutely looks hard. And, like, I've been watching racing my entire life. I ain't never been like, well, no, I've seen 550 races. That shit looks hard. Uh, but, God, that shit, hard to pass. Holy different, shit. Different type of hard to pass. Yeah, you different, know? yeah, the good type of hard. Yeah. It was, I, I thought the track condition, I was really concerned about the track conditions coming into the weekend. You're laughing about something for some reason. Um, said it's the good kind of hard. I hate you. 
<laughs> someone someone yeah. took someone Track took the weed before. Uh, I did not. <laughs> that's, that's a lie. Don't tell don't tell people that. That's not true. All right, fine. Buddy allegedly took a single weed before. No, I'm kidding. Um, I will. <laughs> I know, I'm fucking kidding. You know how many people I... Never mind. Bleep this out. (laughs) I will not. I will not bleep this out. Um, Buddy Pulley does not condone taking a week. Raw content. Um, Um, Yeah, we don't give a fuck this week. (laughs) No. It's the good good kind of not giving a fuck, too. I'm having a good time. What the hell were we talking? Oh, the track conditions. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I'm really glad it wasn't as dusty as it was last year. That would have been a that would have been a bummer. Yeah, that's I like to see shit. I like to see the things I pay to see. Yeah, and I was watching especially uh, when I pay to see them. Yes, especially. Oh but um yeah, I, I was washing uh orange clay dirt out of my hair for like two weeks. Shit sucked. And I wore a hat and everything, so it got through there. I don't know how. You'll never not wear a hat. That's true. I haven't not worn a hat in public in at least ten years. That mullet you had a couple years ago was fire. You should have you should have not worn a hat. Of kick every I didn't now have and a mullet. It only looked like it because I was wearing a hat. Oh, yeah. You could probably pull off a mullet. I'll give you that. I want to try it once. Do it. Yeah. Do it. Want to do Darlington? It. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do the fucking mullet. No, we're not. We you. <laughs> I'm gonna do the fucking mullet. I'm gonna like. I'll do the fu- I'll do the Fu Manchu like I did last year. I'm gonna walk up to the hair or this year. Be like, hey. Mullet. Tyler did it. Tyler's looked weird. It looked uh-huh. weird, but but Tyler's a good looking dude. We're not exactly yeah, good looking true. dude, so yeah. Anyway, um, yeah. so yeah, Brandon and Matt Shepard won the late models and super dirt car championships, um, respectively. Yep. And yeah, these all these titles were all um, decided. Are they related? Or are they like a Robbie Gordon, Jeff Gordon type thing? I have no idea. I hadn't even thought oh, about okay. it. Okay. Well, I'd thought about it. I just assumed they were. They look pretty similar. Oh, I, don't, I, don't know. I think. I don't remember. Maybe the Someone related. down in the comments below. <laughs> Both of <laughs> you. Learn us a little something. Yeah, yeah, all three of you. They're uh, me, they're Seth, probably. and whoever else watches this. <laughs> yeah, they're probably related. Um, me, Seth, and so, Frank. Anyway, the. Yeah. The uh, scheduling was odd uh, as far as when the cars, when the races actually occurred, like which series went first, last, or whatever. Um, oh, yeah. yeah it seemed weird. a little odd that sprint cars, like on Saturday, went first, Friday went second. I think it had to do with track conditions and not wanting yeah. to destroy the track yeah. um, before you get to the sprint cars. That's my guess. Um, that seemed to make sense. Yeah, because you said that were, at the track, and I was like, "Yeah, he's smart. I trust him." Yeah, but because uh, I mean, you could see the sprint cars go around, and kick up a whole hell of a lot more dust than the, and then whole whole hell of a lot of dust, and then the late models would go out and eh, it kind of kick up some dust. wasn't too bad. Um, but anyway, so yeah, we were mostly there for sprint cars. Uh, everything else was just bonus. Um, so yeah, night one, David Gravel won, and. Perry Madsen got Brian Brown at the death for second place, and Brian Brown ended up third, of course. It was a pretty entertaining race. Logan Schuhart was leading. It had a tire go down. This will never occur again. Um, this will not happen again. I'm not telling you this for the first time. I'm telling you this for the only time. Anyway. <laughs> Yo, Kerry Madsen, man, that's Kevin Hardy's teammate. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I liked him, man. He was Australian. That's cool. There's a couple Australians because we got James uh, James McFadden. He's Australian. Yeah. I forgot about that, too. Yeah. Dude, that was really cool. We were sitting there watching them out, getting out of the car. Uh, they're at the podium celebration. And they walk up to each other at both nights, every every race. They got out of the car. You know, guys, you know, who, you know, guy won. He's doing the things that guys do when they win. Um, but you know, the guys who fish second, third, they get out of the car, like, man, you know, that was fucking cool. And you and you know, uh, Brandon Brown walked up to that and he was like, man, that's like, you know, that pass you made on me there, then that was awesome. That I was like, damn, it's just an interesting, it's a whole different, it's a whole different culture, yeah, than you know, what I'm used to in NASCAR. It's cool as shit, yeah, 
it's I not, really fell for it that night. It's not just bitch, 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 bitch. It's yeah, it's race. It's not you just know, you got my way at Bristol, so I'm gonna dump you at the Roval and then wreck myself. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's like they don't get and talk about how you're a nine year old. It's like they don't get so caught up in what they're doing that they don't have fun. True grassroots racing. Yeah, I mean it's it's. Essentially, just the pinnacle high level. of grassroots racing. Yeah, that's yeah. what it is. Yeah. And not just, but that's what it is. It's it's yeah. just the top of the top of echelon of grassroots racing, which just makes it, it invites the spirit of fun back into it. Well, I guess yeah. not back into it, but when you come from watching fucking NASCAR and IndyCar and f1 god forbid um you know a lot of that fun's taken out of it it's so corporate it's so just you know nitpicky bitchy whatever you want to call it and and to go i'd be politically correct but then you don't and then you know this is right this is wrong yeah i get the corporate shit yeah yeah and we mean politically correct and just don't ruffle any feathers not in don't offense you know oh yeah 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 yeah, not yeah not like that but um so yeah it's just it brings the fun back into it the fans are interesting characters (laughs) yeah 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 uh we'll mostly leave it at that uh we didn't have any problems but it's just like everybody's it's a different problems but it's just a different environment and it was fun mostly it was just a. It was a it breath cold of fresh air. Shit. It was very cold. Every a cold breath you got, ass like, breath of fresh air. Yeah, good God. Cold as shit. I wonder how cold that dude's breath was that was eating the ice cream. That dude was there an was absolute like, unit. <laughs> absolute fucking unit. It was like no short of. It was like maybe like twenty five degrees out there. This motherfuckers eating an ice cream cone. Okay. Yeah. Um, it was like I, 50, but it felt like 25. But say I've definitely laid in the video over top of this already. And it's clearly showed that it's not 25. Anyway, damn it if it didn't feel like 25 degrees out there by the end of it, because we were sitting God out there bless, all man. damn day. Uh, something I wanted to point out was that both days were scheduled to start at three o'clock. Friday did start at three o'clock. Thursday rained out. We weren't there Thursday anyway, but Thursday rained out. Friday started at three, like it was scheduled. Saturday got pushed up to one because they were worried about rain. I can't think of any other racing series that really needs to do this. I just wanted to point it out. NASCAR. What what was that? Did you say NASCAR? No, I I got some weird, probably just COVID. Um, NASCAR. Um, That's weird. Because I I think NASCAR needs to do that. Weird. Yeah, I don't know. Weird. Yeah, NASCAR definitely needs to do that. Like N A S C A R, N A S car. A NASCAR. A NASCAR. Yeah. I want to rain. Shoot. I want to shoot both of us now. Rain, Florida. Three o'clock. Daytona yes. five hundred every fucking day. Oh shit, we're down. All right, we gotta hurry this up. I'm down twenty percent. All right, anyway. I hate you. All right. So, yes, night two for the World of Outlaws Sprint Cars. Oh, shit. How many nights are there? Two. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> Logan Schuhart gets on. No, he did not get on the pole. Casey Kane got on the pole. Hey, Logan Casey Kane. Casey I thought Kane, Kane was on the pole the second night or first night. No. I think it was second. I could be I could be completely wrong, so don't I'm 98% sure it was the second night. I think he was on pole for like a heat race on the first night or something. I don't remember. Um, I'm 90% sure it was the second race. I'll I'll anyway. put a little thing in that says I'm right or wrong. Yeah, um, okay. Anyway. Um dominated so, yeah. again. Motherfucker was on it. Until Logan he Schuhart. <laughs> yeah. Logan Schuhart. Jack Hoddenshield's final career start in sprint cars ended. Yeah, final final career flip. Yeah, ended spectacularly right in yeah. front of us, dude. Oh, that is all right, man. That shit was yeah. wild. Dude went for a ride. It was him and 
three three other cars i don't remember who yeah was three was yeah someone else flipped um i don't remember who all exactly was in. yeah there. i don't remember who Apologies. else was in i just remember jack was in there yeah i remember we both like jumped up like is that jack oh no <laughs> yeah jack. Uh, <laughs> jack no and uh Sheldon had flipped the night before, and then Jack flipped the next, uh, on Saturday. So, you know. Oh, yeah. Fun. Look at them, man. That's Full cute. Full circle. Anyway. So, yeah. Logan Shuhart dominated yeah. the race. You remember that thing we talked about earlier? That can't happen again, can it? Four laps to go. Logan Shuhart blows a right rear tire. That may or may not be part of it. Pretty sure it is. I don't. I was looking at the video. I'm pretty sure it is. <laughs> I was, I was looking at dude. I was looking at that video. I'm pretty really? sure it was. All right, so we think it is part of his his tire. Anyway, yeah. hey, but hey, Logan, Logan, if you're looking for it, I got it. It's right here. Yeah. So uh, yeah, you come pick it up. Yeah, it's just shredded. He ended up yeah. in the wall, and his night was done with four laps to go. It's just dude. What's it with your guys and just blowing tires? <laughs> oh no, man. Yeah. Like. Oh no. Go I'll blow something there. else, man. You think a lot better things than blowing their tire. Like money. Anyway. Um, so yeah, yeah. I bought I bought the shark racing hat and or the Logan Shoehart hat and uh, yeah, it worked. Oh, out. so it's your fucking fault. I know. I, I apologize to Logan. Um you fucking know, he, douche he canoe right in front of me or anything, but I apologize to him. I just hope he should have got him on the pod. I would have thrown your ass on their bus so fucking fast and then asked him to sign my tire carcass. They've been fine with that. It'd have been good content. <laughs> <laughs> what was not, what was almost really good content was what happened after the race. Oh, we'll go ahead. There. Hang on. We'll get there. We, we'll, we get there. We'll, get... The... we'll get there. I'm so excited. I get to talk. I get to talk about stuff. In my yes. time to talk. Uno momento por favor. Um, so, yes, picking up Damn, the pieces Daniel. of, <laughs> picking up the pieces of uh, poor Logan Shoehart's just abysmal weekend. Um, was Brent Marks getting the win in, in the second – that looks gross. Um, the second night – getting the win in the second night. Donnie Schatz came from 25th. It looked like I'm in ACDC, but like a, like a, like a junkyard fucking bum version of ACDC. So like ACDC. <laughs> <laughs> They played that. Cheer. Yes, they did. They played that, and I was like, oh, shit, Slipknot's coming on. <laughs> it's fucking, this is awesome. Anyway, buddy, right, he's dying Sorry. to talk. I'm going to finish up here. Um, Brock like Zierfoss got, I know you do. Brock Zierfoss got second, his first top five of the entire season, um, which is kind of depressing, but you know, I had some stuff go wrong. It's racing, racing. Racing is what racing is. Racing uh, going race. Racing going race. Donnie Schatz had to take a freaking provisional to get in the oh, show. Rolling. Yeah. Gets to the gets to the feature and rolls from 25th to third. Only motherfucker that passed more cars than him was his boss at when he won that championship in 2011. You know what, motherfucker buddy? Motherfucker moving. Right. Actually, you're right. Casey Kane did start on the pole for the first night. He had to take a provisional. On the second yeah, night. Get some, motherfucker. I forgot because I, I was just thinking about Donnie Schatz taking a provisional. Me, I, avid I, Casey Kane fan, clearly. I fucking know. Yeah. Anyway, so yes, I was wrong earlier. My apologies. Yes, he did start on the pole one night, but yeah. Um. So yeah, Donnie Schatz was on freaking rails. Brent Marks got the win. Logan Schuhart just Poor guy couldn't catch a freaking break. Um, but them's the breaks. No offense to Ryan Blaney. I caught something, Blake Shuhart. <laughs> All right, buddy. Best Western Plus over here is just dying to talk. Um, yeah, it's so my turn gonna, to talk. My turn to talk. My we're going to let him do his thing. All right, so so we almost had – and. An interview, uh, some you know, some uh, some scheduling things didn't quite work out with that one. Uh, but we always had an interview with the World Outlaws Sprint Car Champion Brad Sweet, the big cat, big cat. Um, almost had an interview with him. Um, 
But uh, th- some things didn't work out, um, as in my arm. I couldn't lift my arm up for some reason. We're not getting into that whole reason why. And we um, were way too scared to ask. <laughs> well, no, I was, dude, man, I was fucking cold. Oh. I was cold. My arm was hurting. I couldn't even hold the microphone to, like, yeah, it lift bad. it to him. Um, it was- why you couldn't hold it, I don't fucking know, Seth. Jesus. I literally told you I could have done it. I just yeah. wasn't going to pry him away from whoever the hell he was talking to. Yeah, he was talking to somebody that was way more important than the Big Motor Small, uh, Big Motor Big Wing podcast. Yeah. Um, so we did not talk to Brad Sweet, but we almost got up the gumption to do it. We were about um, five I got feet the, away from him. So yeah. we were about five feet away. I made eye contact with him one time. Not quite as sensual as when Kyle Larson like sexually caressed my back at Indianapolis. But pretty close, which man. led to him winning the title. Might I add? We'll talk about that in the season pre uh, review yeah. video a little bit more. We'll get in more depth about that interaction I had with Kyle. Um, but yeah, me and Brad Sweet locked eyes from across the room, down my drink as the rhythm booms, um, and I got to walk around dirt track. I ain't never done that before. That was fucking cool. Got was interesting. walked up. Going to see some of that. Yeah, exactly. I got to walk up. Look at the cushion. Uh, it was just cool as shit to be right there and like learn. I don't know. I learned a lot about what track conditions are like. What I learned what dry slick was. I don't know. Fuck. I was like, that fucking sounds weird as shit. Like, what the hell? That's an oxymoron if I've ever heard one. Learn what that was. Learn all the sorts of other shit. It was cool as shit, man. Yeah. I I am I am a fan. I am sold on this. I wasn't you know. My younger years, my more ignorant years, I was like, oh, NASCAR. Oh, NASCAR. And now, you know, I'm like, you know what? Oh, I like this. Dirt racing's uh, I'm very intrigued. They've won me over, and I'm excited to for 2022 yeah. and uh, do a little bit more of that. It's um, funny because our expansions and our racing palettes kind of started uh, – at the same time, give or take, we didn't even know each other yet because we both kind of got into IndyCar in about yeah around the same 14, time right? yeah 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 2014 yeah but we and didn't we kind of we hadn't met yet but yeah it just kind of happened that yeah. way I mean we did kind of know the same people we just hadn't really met yet um, yeah but now here we are getting into dirt well you've been in a little bit but I'm yeah. I'm learning a certain uh, guy I kind got... of accelerated my dirt. Yeah, I, I got a dog in the fight in ABR, so yeah. Um, so I'll be, I'm I'm excited, man. I I really I'm I'm gun ho about this. I I ain't really been gun ho about too much, especially not so. that damn next gen test. We'll get there next. I was all right. It was all right. But yeah, two and a half was, seconds um, damn slower. Never mind. Whatever. We'll get in that. Yeah, it yeah. is. It is. It it be what it be. Um. But yeah, it was it was a fucking awesome time. We got to go down the track, watch the whole shebang with the champions, you know, getting crowned. Um, saw Casey Kane, saw my boy, my boy Casey, you know, followed um, him for a little bit out of the track. Yeah, it's a little creepy. yeah, yeah. I mean, well, yeah, he, you know, follow follow him on Twitter, follow him around the dark racetrack. I mean, what's the difference? Um, no difference. Yeah, exactly. Um, Hey, Casey, awesome. does this smell like access chloroform? that we had? Oh, no. Seth, I think you you got to um, – you got to yeah. bleep that one. Yeah, bleep that one. Um, so, bitch, you, you, got, you got me all sorts of screwed up. <laughs> I don't know. It's cool. I got a piece of Logan Lo- Shoehart's tire. I got some visor, some visor tear-offs. Yes. I got to see some race cars I ain't never seen before. It's always fun seeing dust in my. It's always fun seeing cars you've never seen before. Yeah, yeah, it was. It, I was blown away. It was. It was fun. It was a good yeah. time. Yeah, Brad Sweet's a badass. Yeah, that motherfucker's short as shit. Yes, it's very short. I what is, yeah, I want. I'm I think, short, see, and Brad Sweet is short to me. I think Caitlin just thought, "Damn, Kyle's pretty fucking tall." And so it, I, I think, she, I, yeah, she didn't know that like, made him taller. Yeah, tall, dark, and handsome. That's Kyle Larson right there. Um, I don't disagree. 
Yeah, I mean, dude. Because if Kyle man. Larson's tall, then I'm tall. Brad Sweet can that. drive. I mean, Kyle Larson could drive, but he can also do other things. Um, and then Caitlin Sweet Larson is, oh, my gosh. Like I said, I said it on – I said it – what I say last week? Yeah. I'll say it again. Shit. Any, any woman that I encounter the rest of my life, you have – there's a there's a line or there's a there's a ceiling or there's a fucking there's a there's, there's a, a bar that's what i'm that's gold a standard there's a bar there's a gold standard and that is caitlin larson you should have known you shouldn't let me talk i'd get around to talking about caitlin larson i you're bound to find a way to talk about her anyway um so like, I feel like I could have edited the video, uploaded Dude, it, the 51 car for Rick Ware spun in the fucking uh, next-gen test. I just had to throw that in there because – We cannot go a whole episode. <laughs> no, we Rick can't. Ware. How long until no. Rick Ware Racing Empire – It wasn't Cody Ware. – into World of Outlaws? How long? I'm surprised. A fucking track house has a car. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Alex Bowman has a car. Alex Bowman has a car. Kyle Larson races. Caitlin Larson's brother, Casey Kane's got several. Tony Stewart's got several. Wonder if they're going to be powered by Dodge here in the next couple of years. Um, they spent a lot of and, money getting the Ford program off the ground in sprint cars. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. Yeah, well, yeah. Um, Tony and Ford hate each other right now, apparently. So yeah, Cole Macedo not impressed me. Not in why. I don't really know nothing, so I can't really judge. But just my. Um, just my little prepubescent sprint car mind. Boy, oh boy, should they me make, too much. Did that uh, ally car look nice on track, though? Good lord, man! That thing was sick. That was a good looking car. Oh, that was yeah. a good looking car. All right. Anyway, go ahead. You say words. I don't know what I'm saying. That's everything. All I right, been so, boys. <laughs> That's um, everything I had written down. <laughs> that's everything you had written down. I mean, Pretty shit. Much, um, yeah. Yeah, I I want to I want to find more dirt tracks around here, which there aren't fucking any for whatever reason. Well, uh, we got to go to Millbridge. Millbridge, yeah, Millbridge around here. Hey, Chase Elliott's gonna race a fucking sprint car. Fucking asshole. He is. Ruined everything I like. A sprint car. Yeah. Where? Oh yeah, yeah, oh, California, man. California. Yeah, motherfucker. Man, Are you sure that's not another? Car. Are you sure that's not another midget race? No, it's sprint cars. 100% okay. sprint car. Okay. Yeah, no, motherfucker. I get into sprint cars. This motherfucker's got to go. Oh, I'm going to go over a sprint car. God damn it, Chase Elliott. Come on, man. Chase Elliott watches the pod. Confirmed. Dude, yeah. 100% watches the pod. So, if you do, Chase. Does he know that you're the guy who told him to eat a bag of dicks at Atlanta in Indianapolis? If he doesn't now, he does now. Yeah. If he did not before, he knows now. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Don't you yeah. hate when you're eating a bag of dicks and your name's not Chase Elliott? I, I'm eating a bag of dicks and my name's not Chase Elliott? Damn it. Third time this oh, week. Yeah. How, <laughs> did we, how did we have how a did podcast about you, sprint car racing you, and we end up you did talking this. about Rick Ware and Chase Elliott? Nope. I, you did this. It was you. Anyway, go ahead. I, stop all we had going ahead, me. I'm done. I don't have anything else left to talk about. Oh, okay. Everything God, I, I wanted to the, talk about. Go the Nas tent was was gorgeous. I I didn't even pay. Okay, I was paying attention. Yeah, she was. Good. Yeah, um, dude, they have fried Oreos there. I was pretty. I was pretty excited about that. Those yeah. Were good. Um, I the was. I was excited. Stopped. Yeah, pretzels were not great. Um, no, they were not. The. Good. Uh, okay. I was excited that we got to get so close to the cars. That's one thing that any every race here needs to do better is getting that access to just be close to the cars. That was cool. Yeah. Um, I don't know, man. It was it was a it was an overall really really fun experience, and it, I'm really excited for more. Yeah. No, I'm. I thought it was a whole lot of fun. We definitely got to hit one of these bigger dirt races up one of these uh, yeah. one of these days. <clears throat> um, 
one of these years we got to go to the Chili Bowl. Um, I want the be, Chili Bowl flu right yeah. in my face. Oh, yeah. hole. I'm excited. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, definitely Knoxville at some point will happen. Um, Hell, yeah, I love going to Knoxville, man. Go Vols. What's up? Fuck, yeah, let's go. Wrong Knoxville, but okay. Oh, shit. God damn. All right. Um, Wait, Knoxville, Iowa? No, Knoxville, Nebraska. Not Knoxville, Iowa. Man, I want to see Slipknot again. Oh, man. Anyway. Uh, no, anyway. And uh, yeah. Anyway. All right, we probably should wrap this up. We're going off. We're, We're going nothing. off on tangents. Um, we got a fairly interesting buddy pulley safari coming up, including yes, truck we walking. Do. A single interview with another Michael. Yo, and we got. You thought we had, man. I thought we had a lot of mics, like you know, as far as clip-on mics, handheld mics. We got backup mics. Nah, we got mics. From Buddy Pulley Safari, we got Mike down at the sandwich shop. We got Mike down at the, the tire place. We got Mike over there at the, the laundromat. We got Mike over there at the grocery store. We got Mike over there at the, on the corner. We, we got, got Mike, Mike the over cat there. behind you. Yeah, we got Mike. Come here, Mike. Come here. Hey, there you go. Come here. Come here, Mike. Got Mike the cat. Mike. Your name's Mike now. You don't fucking know it, Net. Your name's Mike. It's time for a buddy pulling Pulley. safari. Pulley. Cool. All right, so it's Big Motor Small Blade here from Charlotte. That was, one was for you, Seth. Uh, we're here with Michael, hometown boy. We're both from Raleigh. Um, Michael, this is my first dirt car race of any kind. What should I be looking for as a new fan? Honestly, you should be looking for a good time. Uh, last night was great. We did have a lot of rain on Thursday. Rained it out. Uh, last night, track was a little heavy. Make a long story short. So, the racing was good. I felt like it could have been a little bit better, which today I feel like it's going to be a little dry slick with the wind. A lot of wind today. Um, as far as names to look out for, they're all contestants, really. So, uh, I'm hearing, I'm hearing shark behind you. They're all Logan Shuhart fans, but last night he got a flat left rear tire. So uh, I I, put, I had my name on David Gravel last night, which yeah. I ended up winning. Yes, you did. But uh, I would go off of experience. Yeah. Yes, okay. he's been in sprint cars a long time. Yeah. Okay, so explain dry slick to me. I have no effing clue what that means. Dry slick is where it's a rubber down racetrack, no moisture in the racetrack. So when the car goes into the corner, all four tires just want to slide across the racetrack. So yeah. until you get to the cushion, there's there no bite. Yeah. So make a long story short, dry slick is not a good thing. It's not a bad thing, depending on your shock package, yeah. tire combinations, air pressures, so forth, so on. Holy shit. That's way, that's way more technical than I ever knew. <laughs> new guy over here yeah so uh it's your first race too right very first very first like at all any other racing you've ever been to no holy shit he went to electric go-kart track the other night and damn he couldn't even go to a good go-kart track no he's uh supporting elon musk nowadays oh okay i got you i got you well me and effing new guy are gonna have a great time i appreciate y'all you know, hanging out with us today. Uh, thanks, Michael. And yeah, thanks. Hey. Oh, you're talking to me. Hey, what's up? Um, so I'm thinking me and Seth need to buy a sprint car. 
that's that's what I've decided. For the pod. Yeah, for the pod. I've I've conned Seth in the thinking that I can get him to buy just about anything as long as I say, bro, it's for the pod. So that's what we're doing. So we're gonna go down here and we're gonna make a cash offer on a sprint car. Buddy, we don't have any cash. We're gonna make a credit card offer on a sprint car. Yep. Big motor, small blade getting down and dirty. It's like a fucking. What's it called out in, in uh, Oklahoma or whatever? The dust bowls or dust. What? Dust devil. Dust bunnies. So we're out here in Charlotte. We're missing Heat One. No one wants to talk to us because they can smell that we're NASCAR fans. Kyle Larson's not very popular out here. And it's cold as fuck. But I'm having a great time. <laughs> we have some developments here at the Charlotte Motor Speedway dirt track. It is in fact dirty. Can't confirm. Holy shit! What the hell? They got us! They got us! Speed all weekend and uh, it's fun racing with these guys and you know racing with them and see how they race you and just learn from them. What was the biggest takeaway on the weekend here for you? Uh, the heat race went felt pretty good, um, but I don't know. We're leading those couple of laps right there felt really amazing. Race fans, how about a rookie in the late model world, Garrett Smith, second here with the World of Outlaws. And as for that, Rick, we'll talk to Brandon here in just a few moments in championship celebration. I'm going to toss it back into the booth to you. Thank you very much. There's Seth going up to the NOS trailer for like the seventh time to get a free NOS. Cheap bastard. Get her phone number, dude. Come on. So we're on the track. I don't know how that happened. Um, we're getting ready to crown the champions. Um, the big Cat, Brad Sweet, one of Outlaws champion. Then Brandon Shepard and Matt Shepard, right, right. the Morton Buildings. <sighs> it's cold as fuck. Weight models champion. Yeah. And then, uh, of course, the super dirt cars. This is pretty dope. Been an awesome first dirt car experience. Um, I think we'll be back. Yeah? Yes. Okay. All right. Seth says we'll be back, so we'll be back. Um, Guaranteed. Yeah. So let's go watch the champions get crowned. We're on the track. Like, like, look. That's supposedly dirt. Used to be. Used to be, yeah. We go up here. There's a lot of fucking banking, man. Yeah. Don't fucking look like it. We're gonna go up to the cushion. We're gonna try to coach Kyle Larson through winning the championship tomorrow. So, Kyle, you're gonna wanna get up here in the cushion, you know? I don't know anything about dirt racing, and you're not going to be racing on dirt, but I figured it's good advice to give you. This is what I'm told is called the cushion. I actually knew that before this, so that's surprising, right? Um, that makes something. Yeah, it's interesting to see a dirt track, like, be on a dirt track, because it's like you hear all the, you know, 
dry slick, all those terms, you know, that, you know, the cushion, the fucking, the, what's the other one, the berm? What? I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Sure. It's alright, we won't use this bit where I, it sounds like I know nothing about anything. <laughs> Jokes on you, I'm definitely using this bit. Fuck you. Things harder than my dick. So we're out here at Charlotte. I'll just forgive you, bud. Go down here. God damn, this shit's rough. Look at look at this. Look at that shit. Darlington ain't got nothing on this. Here, get low. Yeah, there you go. Get low, get low, get low. Yeah. It's pretty fucking nuts. For someone's tire. Mine, yeah. Also mine. <laughs> so we're out here walking out in the grass. We don't want to walk on the track. That's disrespectful. Look, there's somebody's visor. Uh, we didn't pick up any tear off. Huh? We didn't pick up any of those. No, yet. totally not. We'll walk over here and show you all the champions after we walk through all this shit see someone that actually knows a lot more about dirt racing will be able to tell you a lot more about what the hell is going on here I'm just here but I'm having a good time I'm right Despite how fucking cold it is. Motherfucker, it is cold as dick out here. It's colder than a witch's tent in a brass bra out here. So, if you'll pan this way, you'll see Matt Shepard's nine. Super Matt Shepard. The big cat. Oh, yeah. Well, no. Brad Sweet, but Casey Kane's car. No, Casey Kane. Where do you see Casey? Oh, he's right behind the guy in the orange. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, I saw him a second. Oh. Well, Casey Kane's over there. Oh, shit, there's Brad Sweet right there. Oh, yeah, cool. Let's see if we can get him on the pod. If you want to ask him, I'm down. Absolutely not. He looks busy. <laughs> he does not look that busy right now. Yeah. Well. <laughs> this has been the Big Motor Small Blade Podcast from the World of Outlaws World Finals. All right, cool. That was a dope ass buddy pulley safari. What's even more dope is what we have coming next week. Thanks for watching that. Seth? I've been Sundress. And I've been Dumbass. Damn. Damn it. Dumbass again. Well, I've been Big Motor as well. And you are. Uh, this week, Big Wing. <laughs> big Wing. Tune in next week. We got NASCAR season review. We recap Kyle Larson. Keep back in the field. Go. Bitchin'. Bitchin'.